An action flow is a reusable sequence of steps that an end user performs in an application. You can think of this as a kind of wizard dialogue. An action flow can be defined and reused in many contexts. At runtime, an action flow presents end users with either a single step or multi-step dialogue to assist them in executing a business task. The application designer can use expressions to determine which of the action flow pages to advance to based on expressions and other criteria. In this section of the tutorial, we'll configure an action flow containing rules for collecting vehicle information that will then be passed on to the vehicle create and relate to policy stateless process. In the previous task, we used a create instance page to collect information from the user about a new insurance policy before executing the create policy data service. However, for vehicles we want to determine whether it's a temporary insurance policy or not. If it's a temporary policy, we'll collect the start date, end date, and notes before executing the vehicle create and relate to policy stateless process that we configured earlier. And to do that, we'll use an action flow to collect the information from the user. Navigator, select the user interface tab. Expand the business object UI node and right click vehicle and select new action flow. For label, enter AF underscore CR vehicle. Normally, you'd enter a label that an end user would appreciate, like create vehicle. However, for education purposes, we'll add a prefix that will help you identify what you're working on in other parts of the XCP designer. Here, AF means action flow and the CR means create action flow. For the data contract field, click the selector button and select stateless process vehicle create and relate to policy. This interaction artifact list or data service list is in alphabetical order. This makes it easy to find if you know the name. Now click finish. The next question is, what's this number of steps field? Well remember that an action flow is a kind of wizard dialogue. In wizard dialogues there's often several steps. The user clicks next and back to go back and forth from one wizard page to the next. So this number of steps field is where you get to specify how many wizard pages that you want XCP Designer to create for you. So let's enter three and then click finish. So here you see the four action flow subtabs, three steps and a model for the AFCR vehicle action flow. Let's adjust the layout a bit to make it easier to demonstrate more things. Select the Step 1 Editor and select the Layout tab. And add a column box widget by double clicking on it. Column boxes are always created with two columns. Let's delete the leftmost column. When working with column box and result set widgets, you can select and set properties for the whole widget or the individual columns within it. Sometimes, once you've already selected a column within the widget, it might not be apparent how to select the widget again because if you click on the dotted border of the widget you get the column again. The trick is that there's an invisible handle for the parent widget two pixels outside the dotted line. If you click the mouse there it'll select the entire widget. Now let's select the entire column box so we can edit the properties. In the properties column box pane at the bottom blank out the title field. Now let's drag a rich text widget into the column box. This will become the title. In the properties pane, change the label to label. Change the value to some HTML formatted text like this. Let's drag a drop down list widget into the column box below the label. In the properties pane, for ID, enter make. For label, enter make. 
let's bind this drop down list widget to the vehicle make pick list. So on the right, scroll down and click the selector button next to pick list for list items from. Select vehicle make and click finish. Now drag a text input widget below the make widget. And for ID, enter model. For label, enter model. Add a number input widget below model. Configure the ID as year and the label as year with a capital Y. Under the value section on the right, the data type should be integer. Next, add a text input widget for the VIN number and set the ID to VIN and the label to all caps VIN. And let's add a checkbox widget so we can indicate whether the insurance policy for this vehicle is temporary or not. So for ID, enter temporary. And for label, enter temporary. And at the right, in the checkbox text box, clear the default text. Remember, this is going to be for the temporary policies, like a rental car. Now let's configure the rules for which action flow step page to go to when the next button is clicked. So select the navigation tab. Under the action section, click the expression radio button. Then click the expression wizard button. Select the functions tab. Then in the top pane, select conditional and in the bottom pane select the if then else function and click OK. Select the first argument EXPR means the conditional expression and click the expression wizard button again. In the top pane navigate to and select steps AF CR vehicle step 1 widgets temporary and in the bottom pane select value and click OK. Now replace the result if true argument with two single quotes. Navigate to the step 2 vehicle basics tab and select the value of the system name that's AFCR vehicle step 2 and press control C to copy it to the clipboard. Navigate back to the Step 1 editor and paste the Step 2 system name between the single quotes. Now replace the result if false argument with two single quotes. Navigate to the Step 3 vehicle basics tab and select the value of the system name AFCR vehicle Step 3 and press Control C. Navigate back to the Step 1 editor and paste the Step 3 system name between the single quotes. Save Step 1, but leave it open for now. Select the Step 2 Vehicle tab and select the Layout tab. This will be the wizard page where the user enters the start date, end date, and notes, but only when it's a temporary rental. Add a column box widget and delete the first column and remove the title property. Now, similar to how we configured step one, add the label, start date, end date, and notes fields. For the label's value property, enter bold, big, step two, Enter the start and end dates of the coverage for this vehicle and click Next. And then end the big and bold tags.
For the start date widget, in the properties pane at the bottom, select the style tab and change the date style to date only. Then navigate back to the general tab. Do the same for the end date widget. Add the text area widget for the notes field. This page will always progress to the step 3 page when the user presses next so you don't need to add a navigation condition for advancing to the next page. Save the Step 2 Vehicle tab. Select the Step 3 Vehicle Layout tab. This page will be a kind of review and commit page. Add a column box and configure it like we did in the previous two step pages. It means we delete the first column and remove the title. Add a rich text widget to the column box to act as the label for the page. For ID, enter label. For the value, put in a bold tag, big tag. Step 3 colon, check the vehicle details and click add vehicle to finish. And then close the big tag and close the bold tag. Add a value display widget to the column box under the step 3 label for make. Add a value display widget to the column box under make for model. Add another value display widget under the model for year. Add a value display widget under year for VIN. Then select the year widget and configure its data type property as integer. Now we want to configure what values to display in each of these widgets. The idea is to transfer the values from the Step 1 and Step 2 pages to the fields on the Step 3 page. Select the Make widget. For the value expression in the Properties pane, click the Expression Wizard button. In the top pane, navigate to and select Steps, AFCR Vehicle Step 1, Widgets, then make. In the bottom pane select value and click OK. Select the model widget for the value expression in the properties pane click the expression wizard button again. In the top pane navigate to and select steps AFCR vehicle step 1 widgets model in the bottom pane, select Value and then click OK. Select the Year widget. For the value expression, and this time in the Expression Wizard, in the top pane, select Steps, AFCR Vehicle Step 1, Widgets, Year. In the bottom pane, select Value and then click OK. And let's do the same for the VIN number. Now save. Select the AFCRVehicle.actionflow tab and then its data tab. Click the green add entry button. In the properties item 0 pane at the bottom for name enter policy. Now select the navigation tab. Scroll down to the finish button section and change the label to Add vehicle. 
Then scroll to the right and for the behavior expression, click the expression wizard button. In the top pane, navigate to and select AF, CR, vehicle, context. In the bottom pane, select current step ID and click OK. And finish the expression by adding equal equal single quote single quote. In its basics tab, vehicle step three and copy it into the clipboard. Then go back to the AFCR vehicle tab and paste the system name between the two single quotes. Now scroll down to and expand the interactions pane and select the stateless process vehicle create and relate to policy. Then select the inputs tab. Expand variables. The list of variables available as inputs of a stateless business process are based on the settings in the composite service tab of the process properties data section. If you don't see the full list of variables, then check the settings in the process properties. So, double click on V underscore cabinet. Select the parameters tab. And in the bottom pane, select param underscore default underscore location. Remember that's our application parameter. And click OK. Double click V underscore end underscore date. In the top pane, navigate to and select steps AFCR vehicle step 2, widgets, end date. And in the bottom pane, select value, and then click OK. And follow those same steps for the remaining process variables. that we've just configured will provide a wizard-like pop-up dialog that captures the information about a vehicle and if the user checks the temporary checkbox it then asks for the details of the temporary coverage to be provided. The final step of the wizard is a summary of the vehicle details and if the user clicks the add vehicle button the vehicle create and relate to policy stateless process will be executed.